So here's an overview of what we're going to do in our different stages of our Healing Path 1 journey. Stage 1, as I said before, is safety. In this stage, we learn how to recognize trauma responses and how to ground ourselves, how to put out that fire that our brain keeps, that, that in our brain that keeps us activated, unable to sleep, to be present, to eat, some of the basic self-care things that we need. We will learn how to recognize this is not, I'm not crazy, I'm traumatized, and how to do what we need to feel safe again. We're also going to learn about power and control, value systems, and thinking. If you are not operating from a power and control value system and thinking, you may not realize that some of the people around you, perhaps your husband, your spiritual leaders, your family of origin, I don't know, but you are going to learn what this value system and thinking is so that you can identify if it's happening in some of your relationships. And if it is, you're going to be equipped to think through more of the things that you're going to need to feel safe again. Then we move on to stage two, stabilization. In order to stabilize after we get safe, we need to really explore our feelings. What are our feelings about the betrayal? And some of them are gonna be really uncomfortable, especially anger. For many of us, anger is a scary feeling. And so we're gonna do a deeper dive into anger and what its purpose is and how we can work through it in a way that'll help us move forward. We're also gonna look at the triggers that many of us have that make us feel all of a sudden again like we're in danger and what to do with those triggers. And then also we're gonna learn about therapeutic disclosure and polygraph, which is a tool that many people dealing with unwanted sexual behavior in their marriage use to lay a new foundation of truth again. And then finally in stage two, we're gonna talk about increasing our joy strength, which is something that we need in order to be able to have the strength to recover. Then we go to stage three, rebuilding. And in stage three, we're going to really dive into grief, which is complex and not linear and ongoing. And it's kind of goes in the backdrop of all the work that we do in Women in the Battle. So we're going to talk about the impact of grief and how to process it. We're going to also look at how to detach with love instead of reacting constantly to um what our husband does or says, how to have a healthy level of understanding and knowing the space between me and him and how to um, rebuild my sense of self and empowerment. And also in that same vein is learning about boundaries and how to use boundaries to help rebuild our lives and to keep us safe. Then we move into stage four, illumination. In illumination, we're going to look in stage three, three, we were looking at a lot of the things that we can do to work towards having a better relationship with our spouse um, or, or getting the space that we need from him if he's toxic. Um, and it, in stage four illumination, we're looking inside and we're learning about things that are happening inside of us and how we can um, grow through those and how we can deal with those. So one of those things that often happens in relationships where there's problematic sexual behavior is gaslighting. So realize that's something that's happening to you from the outside, but gaslighting is something that we need to do a lot of turning the light on on the inside to identify what is happening to us when this when somebody gaslights us and how we can address it and um, and deal with it and, and instead of losing our minds because gaslighting is designed to cause us to question our sanity. Also in Illumination Stage 4, we're looking at the crisis of faith that so many of us as partners experience where we lose faith in God or we get angry with God and we don't know what to do with that. We're going to look at that and we're also going to look at the impact of spiritual warfare on our minds, on our hearts, on our situations, and especially on our faith. Then we move to our final stage together in Healing Path 1, which is stage five, deeper healing. We're gonna look at the F-bomb of sexual betrayal, which is forgiveness. Notice we save this till the end. Forgiveness is complex, it is a process, and do not worry, we will not be shoving it down your throat and telling you you need to do this now, and you need to do it a certain way. We recognize the complexity of it, but we also recognize how forgiveness brings us deeper healing and sets us free as a process over time. We're also gonna look at restoring our sense of self-worth. So many of us have struggled and battled with feeling horrible about ourselves 
because of the betrayal, and maybe that was even something that started in childhood. And God wants us to know our value, our worth, and our worthiness to the world and all that we have to offer. So we're going to dive deeper into that. I cannot wait to see how God shows up for you in your situation. And until the next video, I'm holding out hope for you.